PPW Nation, you know us, you love us, we are Prairie Pro Wrestling, and we are your commentary team. I am Bobby Money Munson, and as always, by my side, he is my video bro, my partner in crime, the man with the angelic voice, he is Papa Smoke, sir, how you doing? Munson, I'm doing great, and I'd like to give a shout out to all my Saskatoon wrestling people out there. Yes, and hopefully if uh, you are tuning in on YouTube, you do us a big favor and smash the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you know anytime we release new matchups, new content here on Prairie Pro Wrestling all the time. Support independent uh, local wrestling and support anybody who is in that squared circle, including this man, Saskatoon's very own Danger Zone, Mitch Clark. A great member of the PPW roster, a great individual as well too, what a great human being. And you know what, I also want to give a shout out, he's also an actor, Papa Smokes. Mitch Danger Zone Clark, if you didn't know, is actually going to be starring in the Saskatoon, uh, or Saskatchewan production, The Druid's Hand, which is going to be coming out to uh, different independent theaters coming up soon. If you have an opportunity, check out the trailer on YouTube, check out the show. It's actually going to be playing coming up in June at the Broadway Theater in Saskatoon as well too. So go and support Mitch Clark and everybody behind The Druid's Hand, including PPW's very own Jeff Drake, who people aren't very familiar with, who did a lot of the prop design for that particular movie. Great work from many of our great talent here at PPW. going to be one heck of a match up here tonight though Mitch. Danger Zone Clark is going to have his work cut out for him as he's going to be in this wonderful one-on-one -on -one competition matchup against his opponent and another big fan favorite here Pop Smokes. It is Cannonball Kelly and he is joined by Johnny Two Fingers and if you haven't done so already you should head on over to our show Ring Respect Radio on the Video Bros Network on YouTube and check out the interview we did with one Cannonball Kelly and Johnny Two Fingers. I went into that interview, Pop Smokes, not knowing what to think of these two, if this was all just what they were like at the wrestling ring. I know that they are 100 miles an hour every minute of every day. High energy from these two individuals, and I absolutely love them. What a bundle of fun these two are. Yeah, that was a really interesting interview, and any fans that would like to get to know Cannonball Kelly and Johnny Two Fingers a little bit better, check it out. They're a wacky duo. But a great brotherhood, a great partnership between these two. Johnny Two Fingers always watching out over his buddy Cannonball Kelly. And Cannonball Kelly, not to be underestimated, this man moves 100 miles an hour. Uh, he is a big guy with big energy pop smokes. And again, we've said before, he is about one win away from really accelerating himself to the top here in PPW. Uh, he's come up a little bit short at times, but I think that is not from a lack of his ability inside the squared circle. This guy is a veteran of the squared circle. He knows how to handle himself. It's just we have that much strong competition going forward in Prairie Pro Wrestling. Yeah, and you can talk to any of the wrestlers or watch any of the cards that we've had. It's tough to get a win in PPW because everybody wants the same thing. Everybody doesn't want to take a loss. Coming up to this championship tournament, everybody wants to look good and take home that gold. So... We're going to see Mitch Clark and Cannonball Kelly at their absolute best here. This is another uh, match that clashes the styles a little bit. Mitch Clark, a very accomplished and trained mat grappler and, uh, and martial artist and UFC fighter. Cannonball Kelly, a brawler. He likes to take it out outside the ring, onto the ramp. He use, likes to use some of the furniture around the ringside and uh, the, yeah, we're going to see who takes over in this match. Yeah, we were first introduced to Mitch Clark, the wrestler back in the early days of Prairie Pro Wrestling in the Food Truck Wars. We saw him debut for Prairie Pro Wrestling there and has since become one of the main uh, members of the Prairie Pro Wrestling roster. Uh, what a great wrestler that he has grown into being and stuff like that from that very first appearance he made from us to today has just been such a growth from Danger Zone Mitch Clark and I think again 
while he is not currently in the Prairie Pro Wrestling Championship picture because he was eliminated early in that tournament to Bucky McGraw, I don't think we can count Mitch Clark out as being a threat to the Prairie Pro Wrestling Championship once the champion's finally crowned. Yeah, it seems like a bad idea to ever count Mitch Clark out of anything, any match or any situation because he's shown that he has the uh, tenacity and the experience to deal with any situation. And then, and there's that athleticism that we, you know, a lot of opponents underestimate from Cannonball Kelly. The high energy and athleticism of a guy, the si sheer size of him, it just unexpected and probably very overwhelming once he does deliver it to the opponents inside the squared circle. Well, when you look at Cannonball Kelly, he's got to be in the range of 300 pounds or so, but uh, he's very light on his feet and very agile, and I've, we've both seen a number of opponents underestimate this with Cannonball Kelly and pay for it. Looking to throw some fists the way of Mitch Clark. He's going to give it right to the full count of 10 here, giving the PPW Nation a show here tonight. And Mitch Clark looking a little dizzy there, Pop Smokes, trying to shake off the cobwebs after taking those hits from Cannonball Kelly and getting out of the way just in time as he was about to get splashed by the big man. Now Mitch Clark using that outside of the area of the ring right by the turnbuckle, probably that uh, very strong piece of steel that uh, holds the turnbuckle straight to the post there to smack the arm down on Cal of Cannonball Kelly onto. That is really going to do some damage to the wrist and arm of Cannonball Kelly. And I'm not really used to seeing Danger Zone Mitch Clark use the outside of the ring like that. He normally keeps stuff within the rule book and everything, but uh, I think he realizes also in this match if he's going to have any success, he's got to uh, widen his uh, his offense a little bit and to use some of those uh, strong arm tactics. Speaking of strong arm tactics, he used those strong arms to pick Cannonball Kelly up into a suplex, but you could see afterwards the damage that it actually did to the lower back of Mitch Clark. He was holding his back there a little bit, proving that lifting that excess amount of weight up for that suplex did its a bit of damage to him as well. But Mitch very focused on the right arm of Cannonball Kelly as that was the one that he did the damage on the outside of the ring. Continuing to work it here. A very smart tactic from Danger Zone. Gotta say, digging Danger Zone's uh, new getup there too. His uh, new ring trunks with the Canadian flags on them are uh, quite suiting for him. Yeah, Cannonball Kelly not as not as worried about his gear and everything, but uh, an absolute monster as a wrestler, and uh, he's been like this and looked like this for more than ten years in the uh, Saskatchewan wrestling scene. It, it works perfectly for the brawler that he is. And just a big shout out outside the Saskatchewan wrestling scene. If you're a big fan of Cannonball Kelly and John Two Fingers on your PPW screen, you should also go and check out. Johnny Two Fingers and the Deformities creating wonderful music here in Saskatchewan. Go check them out and show a lot of love and support for local music as much as you do for local professional wrestling. And a beautiful maneuver there from Mitch Clark again going back to the right arm of Cannonball Kelly. Really looking to take that arm out, possibly weakening it, weakening it for a later maneuver, possibly a submission hold or something that Mitch Clark has got up his sleeve. Yeah, you can see Cannonball Kelly trying to shake that hand, trying to get a little blood and a little feeling into it. Uh, Mitch Clark's really done a number on that right arm, and he's continuing to work on it, uh, as well as a rear headlock here. Very vicious again from Mitch Clark. This is a different side of Mitch Clark I don't think we've seen before. I mean, you alluded to it earlier about him using the different parts of the ring pop of smokes. But man, again, I don't think we've ever seen Mitch Clark really go for throwing a guy into the steel pole like that either. Has there been a complete change in attitude or is Mitch Clark just looking to up his game here in Prairie Pro Wrestling? Wants to really, you know, set himself as the, uh, as the, as the bar here. He wants to be the top guy. 
Yeah, I think you're right about that, Munson. I think it's his motivation. He's uh, he's had matches before, but this isn't just a match. This is a championship tournament match. And Mitch Clark, just like any other uh, of the wrestlers on the PPW roster, would love to be that inaugural heavyweight champion. Well, I do uh, one quick correction. Bob Smokes is this one not the Prairie Pro Wrestling Championship tournament matchup. Uh, these two were actually eliminated earlier in the tournament. Uh, so this one is not for the championship tournament. But again, a statement to be made at the same time. The victor of this matchup is going to probably want to insert themselves into the title picture once we do crown the first ever champion on May the 28th. Sure, I'll stand corrected. But uh, any match in PPW... It can put you into the championship picture. You just have to win it. So I think that motivation from Mitch Clark, maybe it is even more so that he lost already in this tournament, and he's got to impress PPW management, matchmakers, and the crowd here too by getting a win over a quality opponent like Cannonball Kelly. And Cannonball Kelly finally getting back into this thing. Dropping Mitch Clark's neck right across that top rope and now trying to gain his composure and get back in this one. He's got the PPW Nation firmly on his side. They're excited for the big man. Are we going to see him up and over that top rope? Trying to go for that Larry and clothesline, not getting it, but hits it on the comeback there. And now Mitch Clark looking like he's the one in the danger zone. Ref going to start counting with both men down. You can see Cannonball Kelly still trying to get use of that right arm. It's really, really hurting him at this point. And Johnny Two Fingers down there, slapping the ring apron, trying to motivate this crowd, <clears throat> trying to motivate Cannonball Kelly, get the energy pumping through those veins, and get this flow going so that Cannonball Kelly can try to pull a victory here tonight. And Cannonball now with those shoulder blocks too. Mitch Clark and again they took did the even the shoulder blocks there doing the damage to the uh, right arm of Cannonball Kelly getting that power bomb in there but Mitch Clark throwing the arm up just in the nick of time doesn't seem like Cannonball Kelly with the damage to the arm is quite getting the umph on the maneuvers that he's wanting to and oh my goodness did I just see Levi Knight coming from the backstage area we know that this has happened previously. He took out Johnny Two Fingers with that chair on a previous event. It caused a distraction which caused Cannonball Kelly to get himself disqualified in a matchup against Levi Knight. Again, Cannonball Kelly needs to get his focus back on Danger Zone Mitch Clark. And oh, Mitch Clark throwing the Superman punch to Cannonball Kelly right in the center of the ring. The cover. And oh, Cannonball Kelly kicking out just in the nick of time. I... I don't even think Mitch Clark can believe that one. That was two and nine tenths months, and it doesn't get much closer than that. Mitch Clark knows that he's got Cannonball Kelly down and hurt. He is just looking to finish this thing off. And again, the distraction from Levi Knight on the outside really playing a factor in this one. And look at that from Mitch Clark, double underhook, rollover. And look at this maneuver, like throwing the elbows to the back of the head of Cannonball Kelly. He's look choking at this. him, he's choking him, Munson. It is over, we have a tap out, a tap out victory here tonight to end wow. things off. And Levi Knight celebrating like he was the victor in this one, Papa Smokes. Uh, Mitch Clark picking up the victory at the expense of Cannonball Kelly. What a matchup we saw here tonight. Wow, and Mitch Clark continues to impress that that seated front choke was just absolutely devastating. He laid those elbows in and then really cinched in on that choke. And Cannonball Kelly, I mean, just thinking about his future career really had to just tap out immediately. There's there's no way you can stand a, a choke from an MMA fighter like that for more than a couple seconds. Cannonball Kelly was taken to the danger zone, and we want to thank you all for tuning in to the show tonight. Take care, everyone. We'll see you soon.